I will adjust the gap between looper and needle break. There should be 0.5 mm gap between top of the looper and bottom surface of needle plate. If the clearance is more than 0.5 mm, there is a chance to have skip stitch problem. Check the clearance at this position. Kansai Special's metal ruler thickness is 0.5 mm. To adjust the height of the looper, take out looper first. and adjust the height with this screw. Now adjust the angle of the looper. There is flat surface at the looper, but you need to make sure the angle by using special tool. 166604 Looper Angle Adjustment Tool Push the tool against the looper. Hold the tool with screwdriver and tighten the looper. Check the angle by using flashlight from bottom side. First, attach all needles. In case of 6 mm gauge, Looper tip should locate at the center of the needle and center of the needle's scarf. At the same time, 0 mm space between looper and needle. Automatically, when the looper goes through the fourth needle, it will go through bottom of the needle scarf. And when the needle is going down and touching the shoulder of the looper, tip of the needle touch at bottom half of the shoulder. Also, distance from the left needle to the point of the looper will be between 4.2 mm to 4.76 mm. This is the standard adjustment. If you could not adjust like this, you may have to go back to chapter 1 and check one by one again. Adjustment of this position is the most important point, so please adjust precisely. Use this screw for this adjustment. Looper's front back position can be adjusted by this screw.
I recommend to use magnifying glass for precise adjustment. I will show you how I adjust this. It is not necessary to follow my way, but just for your better idea of fine adjustment. First, turn hand pulley and move looper and find out needle's position, where tip of the looper and center of the left needle meet at the middle of the scarf. After you find good needle position, keep the needle position and adjust loopers front, back, and left, right adjustment together. Adjust the left, right position of the looper with right hand. Move tip of the looper at the center of left needle. Adjust front, back position of the looper with left hand. 0 mm space between looper and needle. When you do final tighten, the looper position could be changed. Please take it into consideration about it. Attach needle guide. Sometimes it is necessary to do small adjustment by bending the needle guide. Please use needle nose pliers without teeth. Adjust where the tip of the looper reaches to the center of the left needle. Zero millimeter space, but not pushing needle either. Needles should not move to the left. This is a bad adjustment example. This is a good example. Needle guard has to push second needle, third needle, and fourth needle slightly. Attaching feeder dock. This is differential feeder dock. This is main feeder dock. Main feeder dock has needle guard attached. However, if you could adjust looper and needle guide perfectly, maybe you do not need needle guard. Basic position of needle guard is 0.1 mm from needle at the nearest position. But today, I locate the needle guard temporarily center of the screw hole and make more space against needle. Attach differential feeder dog first, and differential feeder dog and main feeder dog has to be aligned. The screw of differential feeder dock is located right side of the feeder dock. Be careful not to tilt it to the right when installing the differential feeder dock. 
after you attach both feed dogs, if one side is high and other side is low, maybe you did not install the differential feed dog correctly. Try to hold differential feed dog to the left when you finally tighten the feed dog so that feed dog will not tilt. Check the height of the feed dog here, 1.2 to 1.5 mm when the feed dog is at the highest position. Attach main feed dog. Align the height of feeder dog. Use looper distance tool or metal ruler to check. Main feeder dog is low. I'll adjust again. You can change the height of the feed dog this way. Use 2 mm hex key to loosen lock nut and change height. Do not forget to tighten 2 mm hex nut.